picture outside of a seafood restaurant in Redondo Beach of Jack Toffer and Chris Burns doing this move to each other. Like when you're waiting for your order to, or your number to be called, you did get to out on the sidewalk in front of the restaurant. Right, that's what we were doing. But classic. I teach this move to, to children. This technique, okay? I told a little bit of the history on it. Um, so like, and Andy happened to be here. But I was like, hey, you know, Andy and I started training in the same wave, it was like a blip in martial arts history. And that was when Boyce Gracie fought. That was a blip. UFC won. And then there's a blip with the Ultimate Fighter and Spike TV. And then if you extrapolate that further, Fox, when they got the Fox deal. Now every morning when you wake up, they are on ESPN. Right? That's how long it's came distance I've been involved. My grandy's brother, so he, he started around the same time as me. So it's like, that was the, the little explosion of, of martial arts at that time, right? When the Ultimate Fighter season one, I believe it was, um, one of the first early seasons, there was Jason Von Flute, right? And this is funny, this became such a, this is a Von Flute choke I'm about to show. They, they, with this wave, they's like, we're gonna name this after this dude. For whatever reason, like a lot of people, I learned it. There's a flawed flute show. It became such a, a culturally known thing that one time I was at some fights with Motley. Motley will still text me out of the blue and joke about this. Cora is telling, joking with the kids about it the other day. Some drunk fan at the Metroplex at an MMA show is like, "Flawed flute," like straight up like a South Park episode. <laughs> and I was, I was joking too, like, "You go to a UFC." There's two or three of those people in every section. <laughs> it's crazy. So um, anyway, it's a big part of our culture. And a lot of times you see techniques that are named after individuals. I kind of like it, it helps some people remember. A lot of times when I would go learn something, I, and if it's this long in the game, I've never seen it before, I'm definitely calling it the, the sour sweep or the Pedrino sweep or something that, you know, it's like, yeah, I learned it from that guy. It's a black belt. Right? So, Von flu choke, it's a shoulder choke. It's a counter to the guillotine choke in the guard. It requires proper distribution of weight. So he sets up and grabs my, my head for the guillotine. I need to time this and go over. This is earlier phase before he gets his hands together. Okay? And, but, he may get his hands together. Right? Yeah, scoot back. I just need to follow him down. When he's going down, you go down too. Here. My weight's right in the middle, and I'm going to start leaning with it a little bit. There's the finish in the guard. Sit up again. When he goes back, I just crawl forward. Walk up, and drop that weight. And guess what? Let's say you suck at it because you haven't seen it before, and guess what? You know, when you're color belt, you don't have sensitivity. It's a mysterious thing all the white belts talk about when you ask why your choke sucks. You just sensitivity, bro. You get there eventually, one day. All right? If you don't get there in guard, try and pass to the side control. Go again. You know, close your guard back. Yeah, but let's say I couldn't get it, you know, even though I'm choosing not to get it. Look. Crap. I'll get it here. In this side. Sometimes I'll get it like when my hips are just shifted over and I got a paper cutter choke that same way today. Just like putting the weight over it that way. Okay? But sometimes I'll turn down the side control for me, do you think? Like, and I'll finish it in more of like a like a mountain crawl type position. Ostrich pose is what this is like. There's all these freak of weird names. When I was when I was a, a, a young Kimura, they called it that. I just posted the Von Food Show, guys. It's like, is it really? I look back on this now and I'm still calling it this and I'm just like, shoulder choke. I even started trying to call it shoulder choke. Everybody that I talked to learned first to call it Von Food Show. I can't do anything about it. What is it? Okay, so, go for the guillotine again. Over the back. Follow him, you gotta have balance, base. 
I'm getting that distribution of weight over here. If he hasn't pa uh, passed out, I pass guard. You'll finish it there, leaning, or switch your chest back down and drop that weight on top. Make sense? Let's do that one, two.